Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is about data importing and exporting to and from Cassandra. A little bit about me. My name is Kanti Rekha. I am a B.Tech graduate and I am also a certified Cassandra admin and I have a technical blog on Cassandra. Here, this is my GitHub account and you can find me at LinkedIn. So let's get into the topic. So we use copy command to export and import to and from Cassandra. So this process can be done in Cassandra query language shell. So let's get deeper understanding about data export. Data export is the process of exporting the data from table to a text file. This can be done by using the following command. We are saying copy the key space name where the table exists, key space name dot and the table name. And where should we export this data, that location of that particular file we are creating and with header is equal to true. And this header will also export the column names. So next data import. So data import is the process in which the data is imported from the text file to an existing table. So we use the following command to import the data. So we use as usual copy command and the key space name and the table and which from which location we are importing the data with header is equal to true. Here also header does the same thing. It will imports the column day columns. So let's see the practical understanding of data importing gun exporting in Cassandra. So I have a three node cluster running on my AWS setup. So now I am going to show you that I have a three node Cassandra cluster and this is a and three nodes are up and normal. So now I am going to my, and I am going to show you importing of data first. So I'm going to the folder where I kept the data. Yeah. And now, I am using SQLSH command to connect with the Cassandra query language. Yeah. So now let me first show you what 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 are the tables I am going to create and. Uh, about the key space also. So I am opening my file. So you can see that I am creating a key space with name reservation and I am using simple strategy, replication strategy and the replication factor of one. And now I am creating four tables over here. So let's run this and uh, create the table. So I am using SQL as its command. So to make the certain file, certain Cassandra query language file to create what we inserted in that particular file, we must use the command source. So we are using source command so that it will create all the tables and uh, put this key space for us. Yeah. 
we must use the inverted commas to that particular file we are using. Now it will be creating a key space named uh, reservation and the following tables. So let's see by using describe key spaces. Yes, it shows the reservation key space we just created. And let's go into that key space. And now let's uh, see what are the tables we made. So there are four tables we just created. And now I am going to import data into these tables from the files I have, from the text files I have. So now I am using this copy command. So now I am. Uh, I am saying just copy the key space name and the table name from this location and with the header true. So now I am going to run this command. So yeah, total of 172 rows and the 98 rows and these rows are uh, imported and I'm also importing the data into the another table. So as this copy command, the key space name, the table name, and from this location, which header is equal to two. Now I'm running this and uh, this data also got a uh, imported from the particular file to this table. And now I am going to show you the data. Select star from this particular table. I'm going with the reservations by hotel date table. And using in this way is very bad. I have very little data, so I'm using in this way, but you should always use partition key in the select statement. Okay, yeah. So now, now I got the data and I'm also going to set the data in another table. Select star from get table. So yeah. See, so this is how we'll import the data using copy command. So now let's export this data into some other text file, okay? So for that, I am using this command. So now this is for e exporting the data from table to a text file. So I am using the copy command. For importing, we are using from, come from, copy from, and to export, we are using copy to. So we are using copy command, the key space and the table name, and exporting to this lo this particular location with the with this particular name and with the header is equal to true. So now I am running this command. So now it is saying that it, it got exported. And now, and I am also exporting the data from the another table to another file. So I'm, I am using the same command, which is copy reservation or reservation the key space, guess is a table. And I am exporting to this particular location and into this particular file name. 
So with header is equal to true. So now I am running this file. So yeah, all the files got exported to the files. So to check this, I am going to take it from this terminal and I, I am checking that particular folder where I got, where I saved it. So you can see here, I can, I saved these two files. I exported these two files from that particular tables. So in this way, we can export and import data very easily in Cassandra. But if we want to import or export so much large, large, large amounts of data, then we must use bulk loader. So let's talk about that in, in coming videos. So thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, hope you like this video. If you like this, please give me a like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.